Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail how to undertake a one-way or a single factor ANOVA uh, in Excel 2016. And uh, now I'm actually running Excel 2016 on a MacBook Air. Uh, just keep in mind that the previous versions of Excel don't come packaged with the Data Analysis Tool Pack. Uh, that's the previous versions of Excel for the Mac uh, don't come packaged with the Data Analysis Tool Pack. Uh, so 2016 does come packaged with it. So I'm actually running 2016, Excel 2016 here on the MacBook Air. Now the Data Analysis Tool Pack does come packaged with any with most other versions of Excel that are run on Windows. Uh, so this particular this particular video is applicable uh, across both platforms uh, with one little restriction uh, that is that you're running Excel 2016 on a MacBook Air. doesn't matter what version of Excel you're running on Windows, uh, this will, will still apply. Okay, so as I said, we want to undertake a single factor or a one-way ANOVA. And let's just keep in mind that we, we typically undertake a one-way ANOVA uh, when the independent variable has more than two levels of measurement. And in this particular case here, uh, the way I have the variables uh, listed, I have uh, actually three variables here. I have a gender variable, I have an age variable, and I have this NAQR composite score variable. Uh, this variable, I suppose, represents uh, the level uh, of negative acts that have been perpetrated on individuals within a particular organization. Uh, and the values range from 1 up to 5, 5 indicating that uh, the perception of the individual is that there was more negative acts perpetrated them, on them within their organization, uh, 1 indicating that there was less negative acts perpetrated on them within their organization. You can see that the gender variable has two levels, it has uh, females and males. I'm not interested in whether there's a difference between the negative acts or the level of negative acts that are perpetrated between males and females. But what I am interested in is, with respect to age, and there's three categories of age, there's 20 to 30 year olds, there's 40 to 40 year olds, and there's 40 to 50 year olds. With respect to age, and looking across these these three levels of measurement, uh, is there evidence to suggest that the magnitude of negative acts that have been perpetrated within these particular groups and across groups uh, is different? Okay. Now, it's actually nice, I actually like to lay my variables out like this uh, in columns because it's very clear to see that we actually have different variables. We have gender here, uh, the males and females, we have age, and we have these negative acts. Gender could be classified as an independent variable. In this case, on this analysis, age is going to be my independent variable and negative acts is going to be my dependent variable. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the age variable because Excel expects that the that the, the columns represent the levels of measurement. Uh, each column would represent a different level of measurement of our independent variable. So I have 20 to 30 year olds. So I'm just going to put 20 to 30 here, uh, 30 to 40 here, and 40 to 50 here. And under each column, I'm going to put the actual measurement associated with the dependent variable. So for the 20 to 30 year olds, how many of them are there? There are approximately, well, not approximately, there are 20 of them. I'm just going to copy their values, uh, and I'm going to put them under the 20 to 30 year old category. The 30 to 40 year old guys, uh, I'm going to copy them. How many of them were there in this particular analysis? Okay, well, there was, there was 44 of them. I'm going to copy their values, and I'm going to put them under the 30 to 40 category. And then finally, the 40 to 50 category. 40 to 50 category how many of them are there well there are there are 18 in total there was 82 respondents to this particular survey uh, but what i've done is i've just i've just now the headers represent the levels of measurement of my independent variable and the scores under the headers represents the measurements on the dependent variable for individuals that are within these particular three categories okay so now we're ready to go. Uh, so I want to undertake a, a one-way ANOVA, also known as a single factor ANOVA, okay? Single factor meaning that we just have one independent variable, okay? Which is my age variable, although there's three categories, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the data analysis uh, option or the data analysis button. I've already installed this in Excel 2016, but it can be found under on the data ribbon. There's the review ribbon. Here's the data ribbon. And right across the right-hand side, you see I have this button here which says Data Analysis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Data Analysis. 
I'm going to, by default, we get the first option, which happens to be an ANOVA single factor. So I'm going to hit OK on that. Okay. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify the input range. And let's just keep in mind the input range. I'm going to include the labels, which are the levels of measurement associated with my independent variable. So I'm going to click on 20 to 30. And I'm going to come across to 30 to 40 and 40 to 50. And I'm going to highlight all of these specific values. Okay, So I'm going to just highlight all of them values in those particular columns. Okay, uh, And they're grouped by columns, so that's brilliant. Uh, labels are in the first row. And the alpha level, the significance level I'm setting for this particular, particular test, and by default, is 0 0.05. Really what I'm saying here is if I'm going to reject the null hypothesis for this ANOVA, the null hypothesis being that there's no difference between the average measurement across either of the, all of the groups. Okay, That all of the groups have the same average score on the negative acts questionnaire. Uh, so the 5% level is what I'm setting this particular at. My output range... Okay, I'm going to set my output range to be in this particular data set. I'll just do it over here somewhere. Okay, my output range is here. 